Prime Minister Dikon Mitchell, speaking at the launch of the Silver Sands Beach House, congratulated the Chief Executive Officer and Chairman Naguib Suarez on this accomplishment, indicating that this marks a significant step forward in the development of Grenada's tourism sector. I want to offer personal congratulations to Naguib and his team for doing a fantastic job and for doing so in record time. This project is in fact a CBI project. And I think if we need proof of the value of our CBI program to the economic landscape, both in terms of temporary construction jobs, in terms of permanent jobs, in the hotel, hospitality, tourism business, there is no better example than this property. The architectural design of the property incorporated sustainable practices, which are of tremendous value given the challenges faced, especially with water at that location. The Prime Minister expressed a desire for a continued partnership to develop other initiatives in the future. Sometimes, and I will say so openly, uh, we could be a little hesitant uh, to be welcoming to foreign direct investors and to persons who visit Grenada and find Grenada a wonderful place that they wish to do business with, oftentimes because of the warmth and friendliness of our Grenadian people. So it's important for both of us, those of us who are here and those who wish to come here, that we understand each other, that we interact with each other, and that we build a culture of partnership, not a culture of xenophobia or them against us. We are not going to work if we are not partners and if we are not speaking with each other to ensure that we are on the same page and that we find mature ways to settle disagreements which will happen from time to time or differences of perspectives. Suarez noted that he has had support from both governments, past and present, in the establishment of his business venture in Grenada. It was only two years ago when me and uh, his excellent Prime Minister Mitchell, we put the stone here two years ago. And uh, in, in the first hotel in Silver Sands, there was no CBI. We, I invested $180 million from my own money, no hotel, because my point was that we need to at attract people to Grenada and they need to know that they can come to a beautiful hotel and that uh, all these beautiful hotels are not just in Barbados or some Bart, but also on this beautiful island that deserves these hotels because its people are one of a kind. I Money, he said, was not his main priority when he invested here. I never went to Grenada for the money, you know. I went to Grenada because I fell in love with the people of Grenada and I fell in love with the nature of Grenada, you know. I know that nobody would believe a capitalist when he tells them that he's not in, in for the money. But if you want to believe it, there is one, you know, and I'm one and this one. Of course, we hope that we will make some money. But the, here is the promise. Whatever money we will make, we'll reinvest it here because I just need to create for myself a legacy that people would say, okay, this guy came in here and so and so, and he started building these beautiful hotels, and he never stopped until he died. So that's, uh, that's my hope. Christina John, GBN News.